I'm here with video number three uh, of the series on merging data files and searching. So before you watch this video, make sure you go over your notes on merging data files. And I am just resting, relaxing, and waiting for you to go over those so we can proceed to learn about an in-session sort. So uh, the big question for this little video is how do the two loops in an in 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 the how do the two loops in an insertion sort work? I'm sorry about this. Very tired. Okay. So, uh, the best way to visualize an insertion sort is to think about a deck of cards because most of us have played cards at some point in our lives, especially if we're in a sixth form. We seem to spend a lot of time playing blackjack. But anyway, here I have in the top uh, original set of uh, cards um, and I want to put them in a some form of sorted order. So I start off with my first item, which is the ace, and I just copy that over to my new data file. All right. Then I need to compare each card as I go along and compare it to the previous one in the sequence. So if I rewind that, you can see what I'm doing. I copy over my ace, compare the two to the ace. That's fine. It can go in order. Five is bigger than the two. It can go in order. Six is bigger than five. It can go in order. So I'm comparing the fourth in the original to the third in the in the new. Did you catch that? <laughs> okay. So uh, here we go. Now I want to copy over the three. So I need to compare the one, two, three, four, fifth item, okay, to the fourth item in my sorted list. I can see that it's larger than that. So then what do I need to do? I need to go and compare to the next, uh, to the sorry, to the previous one to that. So I compare that to now the third item. It's still larger. I compare it to the uh, second item, which is now smaller than the one I want to copy over. So I know that I need to move over two items before I can insert my new item in the correct location. Okay. Then I can copy over my seven because set that seven is obviously larger than the six. I now want to copy over the four and I realize I've got a problem. So I compare that to the n minus one. Then I copy that to the n minus one again, compare that to the n minus one again, and then I compare that to n minus one. That's now failed. So I know that I need to move over three items before I can copy over the new item into and insert my new item into the list. All right. So what's going on? I've got two loops, all right? First of all, I've got my main loop around the top, which is going from the beginning of my original file to the end of the original file. And it's going to get each item one by one in my list in order to copy them over. I have a second loop running inside that, right? That's the one which is comparing each item in the new list to see whether it is larger or smaller than the new one the current item that I want to copy over because obviously if it's larger then they will need to be shuffled over by a position of one in order to allow me to insert my current item into the new list. So what does that look like? All right. First of all, I'm going to set my node as zero. Here I am, I'm working on a zero based index. Okay. So my, my new file, zero it's going to be equal to the original zero i have to copy at least one item over before i can start doing any form of comparison oops i wasn't expecting the old algorithm to come over but we're just going to have to live with it now okay let me get my little pen up so you can uh dot see where i'm working on at the moment so i'm now going to increment my node so my node is going to go from zero to one okay so while i'm not at the end of file in my original file okay my current is going to equal to the original node right so i'm going to create a temporary variable called current and that's just going to hold um what are the the current item that i want to copy from my original list i'm now going to create uh j and that's going to be equal to node minus one so if i was looking at the uh, the i've now copied over the first node i need to compare that first node in my original list to the zeroth item in my new list okay so while my current is smaller than my uh, j file minus one my new file j all right i basically need to move okay my items along 
in the new list. So that's why my new file j plus 1 is going to be equal to new file j. So what was in the, for example, the 0th slot will now move into the first slot plus 1. And I can decrement j and I can do my comparison again. Because now if I've moved it along, everything along, and my current item is now smaller than um, the uh, one I want to put in, then I can pop it into place, all right? And then by doing my new file j plus 1 is now equal to current. And then I exit that loop. Does it make any sense to you? Draw it out, okay? Do a dry run and step through the logic and you will see that the, the two loops basically work within each other to uh, make that happen, to make the insertion sort work, right? So pros and cons, it's actually quite straightforward and easy to code. If you look at that, the algorithm is really, really small, okay? The problem is it's time consuming. If you imagine for each item that you um, want to insert in, you might have to shuffle everything in the array over each time. So it takes up a lot of resources. Right, we don't really want to be doing that when there are more efficient techniques available. All right, so the big questions basically were how do the two loops in an insertion sort work? I would recommend that you do a dry run with the algorithm that I've given you, and then you can see how that works. All right, watch out for the next video coming, which is going to be on quick sorts. See you later.